Hey, what's good? This is Rock Nin, and uh, welcome back to Rock Nin versus Online. And I'm going to try to take a different approach for recording these because I realize that I do need the ability to stop and pause and look at things when I'm actually talking about them, <laughs> which would seem like a no-brainer, but I was trying to record without doing that, and it just wasn't working out. So hopefully the quality still stands up on the video. It doesn't look crazy. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't lose too much. I am recording through OBS now, so. Let's rumble. And I decided to start off with uh, trying to assess my issues with Alex and what I'm doing wrong with these matches. The main thing I want to focus on right now is if I keep ground control or not. So I'm going to include anti-airing, but I'm not going to... I'm going to try to get very mad at myself if I don't anti-air certain things. That was just to get out the corner. Okay. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right already I can see... Some things that I want to look at. Hold on. We're going to rewind that back. Right here. He goes for the dive. So I did. Back roundhouse I did way too early. Because right there. Ah. Uh, look at that. <laughs> I did it too early. So I had the right reaction. Because I wanted to anti air jump. But I just did it too early. Because I wasn't expecting the dive. So I was a little impatient on the jump. And that caused me to take a ton of damage. And give him advantage. But right there, I need to, when I'm playing Alice, be aware of that when he does a normal jump. Like, I recognize that he's going to jump. It looked like he wanted to jump in this in this space here because I was contesting him on the ground. So I knew he didn't have too much that he could do out of this out of this situation. So, McPherson, he jumps. Uh, I didn't punish there. That's just a mispunish. We'll work on that. But right now, you know what? I'm not throwing any fireballs at all. And that is a problem. I need to work on that. That's something I got to add to my Chun game for sure. I need to throw more fireballs. A lot more fireballs. That was a good anti air. Okay, I didn't know if that sweep was going to come out. Probably through the punch. It better. Ooh, I got parried. I should have been better. I should have been in the round right there. That could have been a much better punish. I need to parry that. So that's the biggest problem I saw so far is that I do have control of the ground game, but I'm just not getting I'm not getting my reward for my punish for uh, I'm not getting reward for my situations. I'm not getting proper punishes because I could actually win a couple more rounds if I did that. Ooh, that's a good anti. -air. Okay, hang on, hang on, go back, go back, take the way back machine. Hang on, because that I kept getting hit by that, and I was actually curious. Someone to play this match in particular because I was like, why am I getting hit by this so much? I know this move is like stupid slow. So again, I see I'm coming out of getting anti-aired. He jumps. What what am I doing on the ground? I press fierce. That's definitely a start of, 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 of fierce. Why do I press fierce? Okay. See, I think that right there is a sign of a problem that I have too, is that my brain gets stuck in a certain set of reactions where I'm like, all right, he's definitely going to do this or that. And so, or he's going to be in this position because where I'm, I'm at, and I'm not looking at what my opponent actually did. I don't think in my brain at this time, I actually noticed that he jumped. I think in my, in my mind, rather than being active, I just assumed he's on the ground and my brain was still thinking fierce. And so rather than reacting to the situation and pressing either roundhouse or just blocking, because I can block that and then punish it. Um, I just press fierce. And I think that's one of my bigger problems, too, is in, when I'm doing uh, ground pressure, is I just, I definitely go into an autopilot mode quite often. Yeah, that's definitely a start for fierce. That's hardly need to do fierce. That's fierce. That is 100% fierce. Wow. I didn't know that at the time. All right. That's good to know. And now I'm trying to press buttons to get out the situation. Ugh. Oh man, I could have punched that and put me on couch, but I didn't react. Bop, bop, bop. Super. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Let's end that round. So, really, that one thing could have turned a lot of that game around if I was properly anti airing those, uh, those dives. But the second one in particular, because I actually pressed fierce, I didn't even try to anti air that one. I just was looking at him being on the ground and said, well, he's going to be on the ground. Even though he clearly jumped before I even landed from being anti air myself. I could have done better about that. So that's good to know. And so this was the second game, because I believe this was in casuals, um, unranked casuals. So I was just like, let me see if I can get some, some warm ups going on. So I think I want to play ranked as well, but I didn't get a chance to that day. 
So I got too frustrated. <laughs> I'm playing a lot of casual matches, a lot of a lot of lobbies, and not going to rank and playing for points. Mainly because I'm just like, there's there's clearly things missing in my game, and I'm still not 100% set on what I'm playing and who I'm playing and how I'm playing. So I wanted to get that down more before I really went back to a, a rank grind. There's a fireball. I threw a fireball. Oh, I didn't convert that. That's okay. I'm not going to go crazy over that. It's a hit. But I need to throw more fireballs, for sure. So for me to control ground spacing, I need, I'm not throwing nearly enough fireballs. That was... So, let me go back and explain what happened there, because I know exactly what I remember that specific issue right there. Um, that's something I got to work on as well. I didn't really earn the spacing. Like, I really didn't bait him to put anything out. Like, after he did this to punish... Not to punish, sorry. After he did this to uh, get pressure... For, at the end of this pressure, I think I thought that it was uh, punishable. I don't know why I thought it was punishable. But rather than trying to see and test it out um, at the time, I just went full all the way in and canceled in the spinning bird kick, which is why I'm going to get punished here. If I get punished. I'm pretty sure I got punished. No, I didn't. He missed the punish too. But I should have got punished for that. Let's see. I'm trying to reestablish control of the neutral. I'm trying to get gain ground here. I'm pushing him back to the corner. So I'm being more aggressive and that's helping. Okay, I got the ES spinning bird there. Some of us are trying to work on. I should be actively practicing getting spinning bird right in reversal situations. Because I was having trouble with that. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Just too many situations there where I just. Um, let me see how far I can go back. How fast? Uh, I don't want to go too far back. This whole sequence, actually. So here I got parried. Let's do a combo. Then I tried to, after I saw that the combo was finished, I tried to press a button. But I knew I was probably, I mean, it was minus out of that. So then I got counter hit, which got me air reset. I pressed another button after getting air reset. I'm trying to press me buttons, I'm not blocking. And I think it's because of the fear of throw. But he's not really, in, I need to pay attention to that. He's not in throw range right now. To throw me, he would have to dash. And so I could legit just. Yeah, right here I'm jabbing. Legit, I could wait and analyze. Uh, not analyze. I could wait and uh, react to the dash from that for that position. It's not like Alex is like jury or something. I can react to the dash, usually. <laughs> this is on wake up. Then I can't. Um, then does the ex stomp. I know where I messed up at here. I jabbed again, didn't I? I'm 100 percent sure I jabbed. Oh, he just grabbed me. Never mind. It didn't matter. Um, he's plus after that, so I shouldn't been pressing the button anyway. What I should have done after that is probably jump. Like, once, once I saw that I blocked this properly, I should have jumped. Because that is plus. If I would have jumped, he would have with his throw. And I could have landed with the round house and would have ended the match or ended the round. So that was just a bad uh, take on my part. But then again, that is a guess situation. Because if I jump and he presses a button, I still get hit and I still lose. So in that situation, it's because of the life too. Like, if my life was higher, it would be a better, it would be an easier guess. But since my life is pretty much gone, any guess is fatal. So it's like, this is just a... Bad situation to be in in general. It was sink or swim. But what I should probably do more often than not, I would rather in that situation jump and be incorrect because he's plus. Um, I forgot much, but I have no reason to jab there. So I would rather jump and be wrong and be hit and lose around for that than do what I did here, which is jab and then get thrown for it because now he's having more of a throw game. That's going to carry over to the next round, possibly. And I think I don't think about that enough either about. Um, how things carry over between rounds, especially when it comes to pressure. I kind of think in, in terms of a reset. I didn't anti air him there, so I got grabbed for it. But that was a good sweep. That was me trying to establish pressure and trying to throw. I'm not throwing the fireballs, but now I'm, I'm trying to throw fireballs. Now I'm trying to get the pressure going, but it's hard to establish that this late. And he is just. Oh, man. Yeah, he just. That, that was just a, a rundown. He had established. All those tools prior, and uh, I think when he did the stomp, I tried to. No, he didn't do stomp. He did the grab, and so he, since he did the grab, since I blocked it last time, I got thrown. Well, I got grabbed, and I got headbutted for stun, and I died. Man. So from that, the things I can definitely sell that I need to do, um, more fireballs, 100% more fireballs. That needs to happen. There needs to be more fireballs in my in my ground game period. 
Now, I need to worry about work on spacing them because a lot of times I do the fireballs, I don't have the right spacing. But if I can get more of that in there, I can have something to follow behind, something to extend my pokes, um, something to help me poke in general. And now I can force my opponent to jump more, and I'm not doing that. Um, clearly, in that match, I wasn't doing that. Now, there is another match that I have of me versus that same Alex player, I think. Either that one or a different Alex player. Um, was there more on that? Actually, was there more on that video itself? Cause that was oh yeah there was the other guy I totally missed that one oops let's go back so there was this one right that I lost there was another one there all right so let's go to this one next this next Alex all the Alex players so yes yeah, so this is another Alex player that I played uh, I think right after that when I ran to another Alex I was having a, a, an Alex day an Alex week this is running the Alex's everywhere. Um, just like this week, I ran into a bunch of Sakura players, like all the, just in sequence. Like everybody's picking up these characters. <laughs> That's gonna be another video though. I'm gonna try and make these videos more character specific and more matchup specific, so I can work on those things individually. Okay. Let's rumble. Um, as well as like obviously working on individual things during the match right. and focusing on certain things during the match that I really improve. God, he went right in and I threw a fireball and got jumped on. Then he chased my back dash. Like that whole sequence was just him making good guesses or good. Not good, I won't say guesses per se, but this is what they are, good guesses. Um, I'm trying to fight back here. That let him jump out the corner, and now I'm in the corner. And I'm trying to walk my way out. I'm just trying to be dominating the ground game, just keep pushing forward. But he's jabbing me out. That's not, uh, I don't think it's negative. But I got plenty of blocks on there, so I'm good. That move is ridiculous on blocks on. Ugh. It's so hard. He definitely, like, right here, I froze up when I blocked. Uh, let me go back. How far back do we want to go? Right when he threw that, I want to say it was Stan Minion Punch. I want to check and make sure I'm right about that. Yeah, put me back down. Thank you. Yeah, that's that. He got to jump in. So that's already, that's, that's part one of why things went bad. Because right here. Did I establish I was going to do fierce to that range? I guess I've been doing fierce to that range already, and I didn't really... I uh, threw him. That's what it was. Okay, I threw him. And then right here, I backed up to kind of bait him to walk forward. And I probably should have threw out a jab, is what I should have done, rather than doing fierce. I think I threw out fierce a little too much. Um, it's a really good button, but at the same time, it is also a heavy commitment, and people can just jump over it. I should either do a jab or towards medium punch, or back medium punch, actually, would be good, too, because of recovering time if he jumps. The only thing you can really do to those buttons would be the EX stomp. Um, to make it a time to like punish it. Yeah, even though right here I am in good, I got enough time to recover and do an air to air. I could have air to air right here, so I had no time to air to air, and it would have I would have won out, but I would have put myself more towards the corner too. And I think I chose the option to just block because I didn't know if I had enough time or not because it was just on reaction. So I blocked it. I blocked that. He lands, does medium punch. It was probably I'm assuming that's a block dream at that point. Um, and it's right there. Just that he even dash. He just is that a carrot grab is this that grab is that much range? That's a that grab is a lot of range. Jesus, it's from here grab me. That is a lot of range, and I think it's a lot of problem too. I, don't, I underestimate grab ranges a lot in this game because regular grab. The, if this was regular like a regular grab, that wouldn't have reached me. But it's his command grab. His command grab has some more range. So, at least from what I can tell, we we'll have experience. So, interesting. The main problem was that I used fierce too much in neutral, and that gave him an opportunity to jump and force me to block because I couldn't really react fast with the anti air, even though I had the block position. See, they are anti air. Ah, I dropped, the, I dropped my jabs. Didn't put into anything. When Lariat whips, I need to be prepared for that. Ugh. When I block it, it's a mix up, so I gotta eat that. I try to get him to press a button, and I got Lariat and it's a crush counter, so that's not a surprise. Oh, yeah. I didn't cancel anything. I just want to get out the corner. He did throw me the opposite way, so I got him right there. Um, let's see what else. Oh, God. He could have punched me way harder than that, actually. Actually, it would have been V Trigger Cancer. And I just died from EX, uh. <laughs> EX headbutt, so. Alex wins. So yeah, I lost two sets against two different Alexes, and that was real fun.
Um, is that the end of this set, or is that still? I think it's pretty much the end of that set, right? Let me just make sure. I'll edit this out. Okay, no, there was more. See, so there's one more match. Here we go. So there was, but 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 wait, it gets worse. Want to see my kung fu? I'll show you. Okay, so number three. Again, I'm not throwing fireballs at all this time. I need to throw more That's fireballs. Wrong. I just, I'm gonna keep saying that. I need to throw more fireballs. I need to throw more fireballs and create more spaces. Just back up, throw a little, couple of fireballs. Don't, don't try and walk in. I'm trying so hard to walk in like I'm playing a rushdown character. And I'm trying to get in his space, but I don't really think I have a good idea where space is. Again, I'm gonna jump and he threw me. Oh, that's just a good, good guess. I was gonna get a little defensive. Ugh. Now I'm getting leery to death. Punish that. Not the greatest punish, but let me that punish prize and determine if we do it anymore. Oh, I should have that should have been the oh man. This right here. This could have turned around around. This could have turned around around. Right here, let me go back. This is just the input error. Cause this could have definitely turned around around. When he did this, and I got cross light kick into cross jab, that jab should have been confirmed into anything. EX I think what I wanted to do, yeah, I can tell because I got overhead. This should have been EX legs off of this because I was thinking EX legs into V trigger cancel into EX legs into uh, what well, actually after that I think he'd be knocked down. Couldn't do Kokosho again, so that would at least that would push him way close to the corner. It would give me advantage. I would get tons of damage off of it. We'd probably be about even in life looking at the light bars right now, but instead I get the overhead. He armors through it because I didn't want that overhead. That overhead is definitely not what I want to do off of crouch like. Uh, off cross jab. So and now I can do that. And now I'm just in a really bad situation. Cause now he's got he's got pressure. I'm gonna get toward the corner. I want to get out. I didn't convert that either. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. What else we got? He's being very cautious. You know he doesn't do anything. Ah. Uh, so what happened here? How did I get hit? What did I do? So I'm pretty sure at the time I was like, what did, what did, how did I get hit by that? And a lot of times I go back and look I'm like, oh, that's how I got hit by that. Let's see. Okay, so what happened was I threw a fireball. It's a medium fireball. Pretty, it's even, no, that's, that's a heavy fireball. So I threw a heavy fireball. I dashed up. See if he'd do anything. He didn't. Because right here, this is, a, this is my dash. I'm dashing up. He didn't do anything. So I dash up again, trying to be clever. I could have thrown him. I could have thrown him right here. I think it would have worked. Rather than jab. That was a bad, that was a poor idea. Um, that was a very poor idea. It was going to lose. Got armor. And I get hit by slash. Yep. In that situation, I probably could have dashed up, grabbed him, probably would have got him, and waste, made him waste his bar too. But I did not. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I'm gonna try and restrain from beating myself up about things. You know, I normally would beat myself up a lot. And I, I saw it in my OVOs, and I'm like, man, I'm beating myself up so much. And I gotta work on not doing that. But I'm very bad at that, so it's gonna take me some time. So I'm sure it'll be another video where I beat myself up. <laughs> what I mean is, like, oh, I made a mistake? That's the worst thing in the world. I can't be doing that. Ugh. I should have been in the combo too. That was a waste of view reversal. We're good. I could have. Man, it cracked me okay. I could have canceled that into something. That could have been something. Let me think. I might have this round. I'm playing pretty intelligently. Even though that jack could have been canceled into legs. I actually played that pretty, pretty well. Um, Final my biggest plus definitely is pokes. That that's the thing that I really I want to do. I like poking. I like poking at range. I like buttons. I want to press buttons all day. That's very clear. I like I like playing buttons and characters. I also like having a projectile. But I say I want to have a projectile, but I don't use it. I'm not. Th I haven't thrown a fireball 
at all the last two rounds. I've not thrown one fireball, and I'm in the corner about to get destroyed. Yeah. Did not throw a fireball. So that makes me question, do I really want a fireball character? I think with the chum leaves the case, it's not so much that I don't want to throw a fireball. I think it's because she's a charge. Her fireball's a charge. That was supposed to be canceled into the trigger, and I didn't do it. And I'm like, oh crap. So maybe that's the problem I'm right now playing Chun. I'm not. I'm still leaning too much on four, on a uh, on staying fierce, and I'm not throwing enough fireballs. I'm not losing back fear or back uh, strong or tour strong. I am definitely leaning super heavy on fierce, as if that's the only thing in her arsenal that she has. Um, gotta make some adjustments to that. Gotta make some real adjustments to that and see if I can uh, add more to my spacing game. Really. Cause right now, just relying on fierce means the only time I'm gonna actually get like real damage is if I get a uh, Kokosho cancel, and uh, or I get a super cancel. And the other buttons that I have, I have more options out of, especially crotch medium kick, obviously, which I'm not using nearly enough either. Crotch medium kick, stay in medium punch, back medium punch, uh, stay in light kick, cross light kick. Those are all buttons I should be using much more often in my matchups to uh, control space, along with my fireball. I'm not doing that right now. That's, or at least in these matches I've seen. I'm gonna see if that's a continuing trend. So I wanna say this was like later that, either that week or like a couple of weeks later, I played uh, one of those Alex players again. I think it was the second one. It was a crazy homeless guy, I think is his name, right? Should say it on the screen. Um, let's Welcome see, I stepped my outfit game up. I actually picked a better outfit. Awesome. That's what it was, I had the wrong outfit, man. Now that I got the right outfit on, it's gonna be a wrap. I put the Chicago Bulls colors apparently with Fight. yellow accents, I guess. But anyway, let's see what I did different. Cause I'm actually surprised how this went. So now I'm using more medium punch, which is good. But I'm still not throwing fireballs. I'm trying to stay out of his range. There we go. That's a fireball. I didn't anti air him that time. I didn't anti air him there either. I saw the with lariat. I didn't switch sides there. I got the. I stopped the. The hair butt with jab. Oh, I got fireball there. I didn't mean to. I should have to get a leg there. Sometimes I get fireball out of crouch. Tried to get a spinning bird kick, got interrupted. I saw him. I did a jab there because I know he had to parry right now. But I don't think I'm. I actually, I don't know if I did that just because of that. I was too far away that time when the fierce he couldn't actually punish me. Oh, that sucked. I tried to jump to avoid the grab. That, okay, let me just say right now, I did not know this had that good of a hitbox on it because that was an accident. My brain thought to press uh, Roundhouse at this range in case he put a button out, it would clip him because I would have such a, stand around such a good button, but I had, I had him or I need him to stand up and he didn't. But what happened with me was I was still walking back and I pressed kick or I pressed Roundhouse too fast and I got that. But then he put a button out and it hit him. So I clearly underestimate how this button works in neutral. Because I normally use it just strictly for anti-air. And there I got it by accident. But it clipped this. Which has been... I've been getting clipped by that. Every match I played the last few Alex's was that. I think this is crouch and either crouch jab or crouch, um, crouch strong. I want to say crouch is crouch strong. But it clipped them. My back roundhouse clipped them. Probably because the priority system as well as just the hitbox on back roundhouse being just that damn good. But still, I did not expect that at all. So let's play again in regular motion. Bam. Yeah. He's charging up. I knew it. Woo! This is just coming down to like who can press what in, in footsies. Ooh! I got the walk up slide. I wanted him to so right here. I knew he was gonna think I was going to like just gonna get back in his range and try and press towards medium punch again. Um. And so what I did instead was I got close to that range and I slid. This is actually good on my part. And I'm going to give myself credit for that. It's so like right here, I knew when I walked up, I walked up and I crouched just to bait a response from him and see what he would do and make him think I was trying to outpoke him again, which I was going to do. But I was like, he's going to press up. I kind of got a feel for his timing. I figured he'd press a button and I would just slide right under it. And so sure enough, when I moved, he had to press the button here because he was already, he was crouch blocking. Yeah, it's counter hit. Yeah, he pressed the button. So right here, because I've been sitting up in his in his face pressing stand uh, medium punch all day. 
like from way back when. And I kept walking in and out of his range. I'm just, I'm like, I'm threatening to walk right here. Like, I'm even threatening it here. I need to do, oh, God, I need to do so much more of this. This needs to happen more often. This needs to happen more often. Like, I need to get my opponent to kind of get scared to this point so I can do this more often and control neutral better. But, like, you can see here, I'm just kind of walking this range, crouch, walking this range, crouch, walk up, crouch. Now I just do that. Like, I'm not as range quite yet because there's nothing he has that can hit me here. But I'm approaching him, making him flinch, like crouch. And then there, he sees me move, he presses a button, and he gets crowned here. I said, I'm smarter than I think. <laughs> I normally do these videos and I'm like, oh man, because I'm doing the commentary so fast. But actually sitting down and looking at it this way and looking at it, I've been looking at some resources on, you know, how Footsie's working, kind of what I, what I need to do. And a lot of things I need to do, I've been doing already. I just haven't been noticing them. And I've gotten better about them. And playing Chun has definitely been a big help for that. Playing Chun and Jury has been a huge help for that. Um, oh God. Okay. This is kind of getting away from me here. I'm pressing medium kick. Medium, stay medium kick. Cause I have not been using that button as much as I need to. That's another good. All her buttons are so damn good. They're just so, just so good for controlling that mid space. Oh, but that should have been punished. I shouldn't have did stay medium kick. I should have did like roundhouse and the V trigger cancel and the match over. Uh, I tried to. I want to get a punish there, but I just couldn't. I was too far away. And then V trigger cancel. Yeah, we got that. What did I punish? I punished something. With uh, ex legs, what did I punish? Let's go back. What did I actually punish? Uh, okay, here, but it better. And I forget a lot of the time too that ex le ex uh, lightning legs is really a pretty damn good punish. Oh, so I don't know if this is necessarily unsafe. That's slash. The counter hit. He pressed the button. That's what it was. I didn't punish it. He pressed the button, but. I did that because ES legs are safe. So that's something I can use if I have plenty of meter and I know I can take the round. I have to keep that in my mind, keep that in my brain. ES legs are safe. Like the only thing that's really going to counter it is V reversal. And he was in V trigger, so you couldn't V reversal it. And I'm pretty sure that's why I did it. Cause I'm like, and even if he V reverses, whatever, it takes away his V meter. So good. I did a good, I did a thing. It's good. But it would also stop other buttons. On relatively safe things, and then out of that, if I got V trigger, bam, I'm just canceling this putting my finger around. If that hadn't killed him, I just did another EX legs. That's why I like Kokosho so much. I actually prefer Kokosho over um, you win. Rikiko a lot. Um, Rikiko is I'm not saying Rikiko is not a good V trigger. It's a damn good V trigger. It actually increases her zoning too because the fireball gets better. But I just like the fact that off of uh, Kokosho, pretty much every poke that I have becomes a lethal weapon basically <laughs> like I can't slide anything and uh, the, the initial one is safe it's plus two on block so I'm like well I can establish pressure I can do ex legs then get Kikosho and then do something else off of it and it's still my turn I wanted to establish that poke range pretty early and I'm still doing it so now I've got him scared to press buttons here I'm starting to try to do back heavy punch more too I'm not doing that nearly enough in neutral I'll try to do it there because if he puts a button out like that, I get crush counter. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna back up here. Yep, do it again. I should have ES legs though. I didn't do it for some reason. Now you may have noticed if you were very keen that I got roll back here, and that almost threw me off. And I almost, um, like I remember I was playing it threw me off so much. I looked at his meter after I hit him here because he's at stun, and you can see it right here. It says that I stunned him. This is a this is a perfect example of how rollback can screw with you online. You can't take online fully seriously. It's good online is good for practice um, and to try things out, but depending on the connection, you really can't rely on it to to teach you the game because things like this happen. And I have to remind myself of that often because I beat myself up when I lose online so bad or I get frustrated so much online so so often when things like this happen. Clearly, here. It said that I jabbed him, he was stunned. And then boom, next frame, he blocks. And that is so frustrating because now in this case it was stunned. So it didn't didn't matter. But there's been obviously because of the way rollback works, there's been cases like this where I will see the hit visually in my brain. You know, I've practiced my confirms. So my brain, I'm like, all right, it hit, go for whatever else I gotta go for. And it'd be something less risky or something more risky than a jab. It'd be something like cross medium kick or something. And I'll go for it, and that'll happen. And so then you're like, well, I just went for this thing and canceled into ES lightning legs or whatever, or not even ES. Like I canceled into spinning bird kick and now I die because it told me I got a hit. Granted, like I said, in this case it was 
in my favor regardless. It would have been stunned. But that sucks. And that's irritating. And it's just a consequence of rollback. But it's, it's frustrating that that happens. But anyway, I just want to point that out because I don't get too many chances to actually see that in action and, like, like see it happen. And, like, the sound effect and everything is there. You'll hear the sound effect, too, when I play it. It's very quick, though. In this case, actually, it was very quick. I saw the visual before I even heard the sound effect. So it didn't happen. But there's been times, like, you know, you'll hear people, you'll hear, like, hit, and you'll hear a full hit sound. There, I didn't cancel that properly, and that's going to cost me. Okay. Well, I said it's going to cost me the round, probably. But I noticed right away, in this game, as a creator, this is, I like I said, like, I think a week or two later, and I'm definitely more aggressive. Uh, my button pressing is much more nuanced. There we go. I'm using more of my tools. Woo! I got the, I did the pressure thing. It didn't, I didn't go on the spinning bird, but that's okay. I did it in the legs, and that's fine, as long as I'm doing it. What I mean by that, let me go back, because I actually want to show that too. That's something I've been working on. I need to get work to my Chun-Li game. I need to work it in there more. And I, do, I don't do it nearly enough, because it's very important. Now, if I don't get that stream down, I'm not going to get far. I didn't go far back enough. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. All the way back. Even past the legs. Um, here, he back rolled. So I, I dashed in to catch on his back roll to put him on a defensive. He's blocking. And I go on to the jab, stand medium punch, crotch medium kick, legs. And I've been forcing myself to try and do it with spinning bird kick just because I've been practicing that com that basic bread and butter so much. But I, and I've been practicing doing it on as a hit confirm as well. So put the computer on, on uh, put the dummy on random guard and then practice reacting to it, uh, reacting to block, and then you know not going through with it if, it, if it's blocked obviously, and then going through it if I see the hit or if I see counter hit, and you know choose my combo from there. And uh, but I haven't done it in match nearly enough. I need to do it a lot more in match. If we're gonna get this uh, my Chun Li to really start rank ranking up. So that's one of the things I'm missing is like that pressure, that steady pressure that she can put on. So the one thing you need to her that's why I really like playing her and why, why I picked her for my character. I did it again. And I think that's it. Oh, I dropped this. Oh, I remember that. I was supposed to be super. It's supposed to be super there and I dropped it. But then he did that not just the ES legs. But yeah, it's supposed to be super. And I, thought, I was so scared. I thought I, thought I killed myself. Um, but yeah. I got much better about the pressure there. Um... So I still, even in that match, I did not throw nearly enough fireballs. Like, there were no fireballs. There were hardly any fireballs thrown at all, if any. If any. I felt like maybe two or three. So I got to throw more fireballs, get that in there more often. It's a little bit harder for me because, I'm, like I said, coming from somebody that doesn't play charge kids that often. Charge my first charge, charge kid in a long while. Um, but I really got to get that going. I got to get more fireballs in there. Throw that in my game plan, man. I got I to gotta do that because... Uh, it's very important. It helps me establish my zone. It helps me establish, establish my ground game in general and gives me a, a good way to approach. And I'm not doing that nearly enough. And I think once I start establishing more of a fireball game, it's probably going to help me out in a ton more matches. Um, so, yeah. But that was kind of a progression. I want to show that last Alex set for sure because it came like a week or so later after I'd taken some stuff in the lab and tried to practice out and then kind of figure out what I was doing wrong. And one of the things I noticed is that I was being too timid in the neutral and I wasn't really making the other person think in the neutral. Um, I still want to play the other Alex player too. And other Alex players. I don't want to play Alex players in general so I can get that down because Alex has been one of my trouble matchups for a while. Grapplers in general give me trouble. When they play when they play a good ground game, grapplers in general just frustrate me. Um, just like Kyle does. <laughs> So I'm trying to work through these frustrations because I realized the other day when I was thinking about like, you know, a lot of my problem isn't even so much that I'm uh, struggling with any particular part of the game. It's that my knowledge is very incomplete of how to deal with very basic things. So I'm, I'm missing some very key basics to get myself out of these out of the lower ranks. And that's why when I run a certain matchups, people can abuse certain things on me. And I'm like, oh, well, I got to know how to deal with this. Same thing with Bison's Buttons. There's a video I'm probably going to do soon. I just uh, there was a set of matches I had against a, a Bison player in, in my lobby, and he was just hitting me with all kind of buttons, and I just was not reacting properly because I didn't know when my turn was. And so I was watching that match, and actually that was a match I was gonna put up this past week. If you know, there was no video, but I looked at it and I looked at the commentary. The commentary was so generic and didn't really address anything. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back and redo that match after I think about how I want to do commentary and how I want to address these problems. And um, I'm still gonna do commentary on that video, but I wanna make sure I get it right and I understand what's going on rather than just doing commentary to do it. It felt much better doing commentary on this video. Um, 
after really looking at what I'm missing and what's you know what was wrong with my game from these matches. I didn't see the matches prior to this. I just remember that the I remember that the progression was there because I remember the matches I had before, and then I just had that last Alex set um, in casuals like like I said a week later, and I was like, oh wow, this is you know night and day, and this is really good to have to show me like this is what you need to do. So uh, yeah, the main takeaway from this for me is that I need to really work on. Establishing my neutral with fireball mode. I'm not using that nearly enough. I have a fireball, I'm not using it. And I went through all the trouble of getting a fireball character. So clearly, <laughs> I don't like fireballs or care about projectiles as much as I claim to. Uh, I need to use them more. I actually do. It's just, it's it's been weird trying to uh, assimilate that into my game because I'm not used to doing a charge character's fireballs. I'm more used to just, you know, quarter circle forwards. So it's really working that in mindset into, the, into my game plan. But I'm going to. It's definitely on the list. So yeah, that's that. Thank you for checking this out. I appreciate it. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with my assessment of things on this uh, this set. Uh, if you have anything you want, want to add, um, any other helpful tips, feel free to add those as well. I'm always open to learn. I'm still... I've been playing fighting games for seems like forever, but I am still learning every day, and especially now because I'm trying to get better, and I'm trying to get better. Um, I guess I mentioned that here too, since it's already a long video, I might as well make it even longer, right? Uh, one thing I realized recently that I've been, I've known for a while, but I think my problem has been that I've been um, I've been playing ranked or playing matches because I want to get better. I've been playing them because I'm addicted to it. I'm addicted to the feeling of, all right, let's get a match in. Let's go and try and get a win. Let's go and try to get a match done. Rather than taking the time to sit down and look at my matches, look at what I've done, look at what I've played, and learning from those situations, I've been just like, yo, when I get home from work, I'm playing an hour of Street Fighter. I'm just going to play and practice. I'm not even going to go in and train tomorrow. I'm just going to play some matches and then see what, I can, see what I've learned. So what I'm doing right now for a little while is I'm going to abstain from doing any sort of online matches unless friends request matches. So if I am on Twitter or something, and I feel like playing matches, I'll play against um, FTC Akos, or I'll play against um, Oz, Leon, or I'll play against other people that, I don't, know if, I don't know if they even play anymore, but other people that play, that request a match or request a set or request a lobby, I'll play against them. But I am not going to play randoms for a little while. I'm going to stay away from my ranked grind. Uh, right now, I'm still in 5k points. I am aiming to get at least platinum soon. Uh, hopefully, while the game is still relevant. <laughs> so... I would hate to not get it while the game's while the game's not relevant anymore. It's like me and like five people playing that would suck. But uh, I'm going to try and get it while the game's relevant. And then once I get there, I'm going to try and push the diamond. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw that. That's that's farther in the future. And then the whole getting platinum thing is just for my mental, just to say that I could do it. I could be there because I have this thing where I'm like I don't think I can reach that. And I'm like I want to prove it to myself that yes, you can if you just put the work in and you and you put the mindset your mindset to it. You can do it. And stop beating yourself up about it. It's just it's a goal to be attained, but not to be, not to prove anything. To say that I know I can do it, so that's what I'm working towards. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be. But that being said, for the meantime, for at least a couple of weeks, maybe even a month, I'm going to abstain from doing any more online matches. I'm gonna take the matches I have, which has been I got tons of matches from the last few months that I've been putting up on the channel and everything. And even Matt, there's a ton of matches I recorded that aren't up yet. I'm gonna take those matches and kind of sit down and analyze them as well i'm gonna try to still keep it entertaining um but also i really need to think about what i'm doing and what i'm not doing and, and assess that and then i'm gonna when i do play i'm gonna like I say, either play against people that i know or go to the training mode and practice situations practice setups um practice my ground game practice my confirms with chun and jury uh do the, the two kids i'm sticking with and also going to play them more equally. Like I, I kind of lean on one and then end up neglecting the other. But I want to kind of use them more equally. Like in, it depends on the day, time. Of, it depends on the day, the moon, the sky, which one I use. Um, the other day I was having a bad streak with Chun Li. I lost like three or four sets with her in a row. So I switched the jury and I won out the next three sets out of four. So, you know, I, I feel like both those characters really do fit what I want to accomplish in the game now. Which is funny because I've been talking about jury not being my type of character for the longest time in this game. And then I'm like, oh, because I'm playing it wrong. Huh. Um, yeah. Right now, though, playing Chun and Jury's been the most fun I have in the game. Whenever I play, I'm just like, I want to play Chun or I want to play Jury. And it's been, it's been a blast. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it there. You guys take it easy. Later.